Hi, and welcome to the Terra U, the official podcast of the Terra Europe. On this podcast, you'll be hearing from world-class speakers and experts for education, inspiration, and actionable tips to help you live your best Terra life. I'm Ines Amaral, the creative manager of the Terra Europe, and I am so pleased to be your host today. I'm so happy to be speaking with Elena Chimpoyeshu today. She's Terra Europe's first double blue diamond, and she's one of the most inspiring leaders I've ever had the pleasure of speaking to. She really understands why purpose and belief drive your success. This conversation is also available in Romanian and is listed as a separate episode. Okay, let's get started. So Elena, You are the Terra's biggest leader in Europe and our first double blue diamond. Your downline is made of 54,000 members. That's larger than the population of nine countries. You have helped 29 people reach diamonds, transforming their lives. One thing I have always noticed is the way people go quiet when you step on a stage. You radiate an undeniable energy and we couldn't be happier to have you as our first podcast guest. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to the Terra U. Thank you very much for all this. When you start talking about me, it's like, stop, stop, stop talking about me <laughs> with all these achievements, you know, all this. Uh, so thank you for this round um, and thank you for, for the honor to, to be here, for inviting me to this first podcast uh, that I hope it will be like a tradition in uh, the Terra Europe. I'm sure it will. Um, Elena, we have briefly gone over your major achievements with Doterra, and uh, I'm sure there are many others. How has your purpose led you here? Well, the short, you want the short answer or the long answer to this? <laughs> I want the long answer, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the long answer. So the short answer, would be, it will be like this. It's, it's straight. It helped me straight and forward, you know, the, in the, in the, uh, or directly. Uh, if to, to be um, uh, more precise or, pre, or more detailed, uh, you know, the purpose, it's like, um, it's like a GPS to a car, okay, uh, that helps you reach the destination fast in the fastest and shortest way, if we can, we can say so, you know. Or you can look at the, at the purpose like at the, um, the fuel to your car. You can be like, for me, doTERRA, it's, a, it's the, uh, like a car, or sometimes I say it's like a plane, you know, a Boeing. Uh, and it can be the fanciest car, the, the, the I don't know, the expensive, the one million, uh, a car that costs one million. But if you don't have gas for, for the car, you don't go anywhere. You just sit. Uh, so, um, so, so yeah, um, help me also help me not just reach the destination and reach all these goals you, you, you told about, but also, uh, help me to never stop. Let's say like this, to never stop. Because when you have purpose, purposes with an ending, let's say with an ending, you know, there are purposes, small purposes, for example, a car or a house, a big house, or, or even a rank. It can be even a rank. The purpose is to just reach that rank. You go, you get that purpose, like you achieve that rank or you build that car or the, that house or you buy that, uh, that car. And then it's like you, you just need an, another one if you want to keep moving, you know, to, to keep going. Uh, but with my purpose, with this bigger purpose, let's say, Uh, it helped me the most. It helped me is just to keep going on the path and never stop. And how did you find your purpose and how important for you is it to have it clearly defined? Well, the story began that when I was like from about 18 with 20 years old, something like this, uh, when uh, the doors into the magic world of knowledge opened into my life. So if the short answer is through knowledge, uh, there are, there are some questions in this life that I think any, anyone needs to answer to them. The most important, and I think there are the mo uh, there are, there is, there are the most important questions that we, each of us need to answer during this life or at least to answer half of the, the, the questions. And there are, they sound like this. Who am I? Uh, what's, how, how is the world this built? You know? 
uh, where did I came from and why? You know, something like this. So, and this is not, uh, you know, it's like there are now short answers. Well, I can say the short answers, but it will not be enough. You just need to go into to, to, to merge into this process for, for some years. In my case, it was about, I needed about 10, 15 years almost uh, to, to fuel myself with all this knowledge. And, you know, like, I don't know if in, in English it's the same. There is a concept of the uh, uh, Chinese drop, you know, like a Chinese drop. It drops, drops by drop by drop until a big rock can can fall apart, okay? So with the knowledge, it's kind of the same or, um, um, uh, well, again, I'm not sure it's the same in English, you know? It, it's drop by drop with knowledge, drop by drop, and in some day, like, it's an explosion and everything. Oh, now it's clear. Now I understand. Now I know the uh, who am I, what, where I came from, why, and what should I do? You know, something like this. Um, so, so yeah, kind of. And do you think the answer to those questions can change throughout your lifetime, or you're pretty sure that this is it? This is the how to say. The, the, there is the the major answer. And there are some some details, you know, some reframe, some new colors, okay, maybe some some words. So basically, yes, that that's it. I have I have no doubt. But each year, or you know, by by time, I just add colors, reframing. It's more with details, let's say. Awesome. And um, uh, how do you define, uh, do you have a, a word by word definition of your why? Yeah, I can say so. The short, I have a short version, a very short version, a medium version, a very long version, a, a version with a story. <laughs> like, what do you want to? Uh, if the short version is, is uh, my purpose is just to evolve. Uh, I think I hope it's or to grow. I'm not sure in English it are the same words, but yeah, to evolve, to grow, to be a better me, to, to if you want in other words, is to manifest, yeah, it's in English, manifest uh, the most potential I have in me. What I want to say is all of us have inside a lot of potential. Uh, we can look at the potential like um, like at some seeds, you know, there are, can be seeds of tomatoes or to seeds of flowers or seeds of some trees, okay? So we have a lot of seeds inside us. And what we have to do, each of us in this life, is to grow all these seeds, you know, and see what's, because we never know what are, what are those exact seeds, you know? We, we just know there are some seeds. You can see the seeds, but at the stage of seeds, you never know what the, what will be. You know, you, you you need to to start pour to water those seeds, and then after some time, you start to see, oh, that's a tomato, or or oh, that's a tree, or or oh, that's what that. Okay, so the purpose is just my purpose is just to evolve each day and manifest as many seeds as I have uh, as I can, yeah, you know, in me or, or from. Ah, I hope I said it in English. Okay. And um, if, if that's kind of, could be a short version. Okay. Uh, but I know the question for a lot of people will be, okay, but what's the connection with the Terra? Like, okay, well, your seeds and the Terra. And sometimes when uh, people ask me, okay, what's your purpose? I can say directly, not the purpose, but how I achieve the purpose and how I achieve the purpose. The, the fastest and the easiest way to evolve yourself, to manifest those seeds and everything that I, I just said, is to help other people in the same process, to help others to manifest their seeds, to help others to uh, reveal their potential, to help others. So, so in helping others with the same process, you help yourself with your process. That's why network marketing and that's why doTERRA. You have mentioned they're helping um, your leaders uh, grow their seeds. And how do, how do you encourage them to actually go and find their why? It's like a, quite a personal and deep process. Like how do you instigate that in them? Well, you already answer, uh, answered the, 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 the question. I instigate them. Uh, I, well, I, like I show them 
the same way or the same path I I did, okay? And I think the most important is just by example, by your personal example. Because they feel, a lot of people just feel inspired, you know, about like, like, oh, I want your life. Oh, I want your smile, you know, or I want to be, to have your energy, like for the last seven years, you know, or you, or I want to. So, and when they keep asking me, oh, I want to, I, I, I can say, well, I can show you, I can show you. So the only thing I did is I read that book, that book, I did that, that, I did that, I live like this and I do like this. So I just lead by example with my example. And I, I just show, I don't say to anyone to do uh, diff- something different that I did. So I just sh- show them the same path, the same way. One thing that uh, we, we mentioned as well, like uh, transforming people's lives. I think that's that's really something that makes your eyes shine and uh, <laughs> it's uh, very deep to you. Um, what was the major transformation that you have seen within yourself? Well, I don't believe in like one major thing, you know, one major thing. I think our life is the major thing. And our life, it's, uh, I look at the life as at health, for example, uh, in a holistic, holistic way. I think that uh, we need a lot of, and they are all important. I don't think family is more important than health or health is more important than uh, than money or money is more important than, than other people's relation with other people and so on. Or uh, or kids, our children are more important than our career, for example, activity. I think life, a, a fully holistically life, as I say, uh, we need all of them you know you need you need we need all of them so what happened to me if we if we speak about me in the last uh, or through the ter- through the terror in the last seven years yeah it of course it totally changed all my life totally changed not just one part like everything changed starting from the the uh, as david sterling said you know in a uh, it's a physical way emotional way and then with mentally healing emotional healing uh even financial healing and even for spiritual healing so uh, first of all, starting started with the health. Uh, I was not a, a, a sick person, but but still the empowerment I get from the Terra or with the help of the Terra in in this area of my life with help and not just my health, but help of my family and and health of my, of the community. Yeah, my family, my the bigger family, you know, our, our community. Uh, then it's the it's the I don't know if I can say so <laughs> how compliant it is, but yeah, the financial freedom that uh, that I, I think it's one major thing, and not just because money, because money, you know, just be, you you don't do like anything with those money. The 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 idea is that freedom gave me the full time freedom in my that I I never had in my life never ever like till doTERRA or till presidential diamond uh, in doTERRA i always had this you know every day you have some hours when you think need to think about payments about bills about that about and you don't and you have less time for what's important so now in my life all these normal things yeah it's all covered so i have the all the time it's for just for the, the, the things that really matters the most in life. So it's family, it's kids, it's bo- time for books, times for, time for thinking, time for just sit with a coffee and think of the philosophy of life, you know, and, and think again, and give more details to that purpose, you know, and think about how to accomplish better this purpose. Okay. So that's, uh, that's another one, like a big, major, major transformation. And if I um, uh, need to speak about like what inside me, what happened inside me, that a lot, like how the way I evolved the last seven years through doTERRA or doing doTERRA, it's nothing compared to the 15 years previous to that. Okay. Even in theory, I was involved in the same process. So yes, books, yes, all the uh, trainings, all the, you know, all this stuff, but in the process of doing doTERRA, what I mean by that, it's like work with people, you know, the work with people and not just one, two, but a lot of people. And working with a lot of people helped me evolve, if, to evolve in a, how would it will be in English, you know, with the speed of light, you know, because you are, you are forced to. 
it's it's like you want or not, you just need to because if you can't, it's it will be bad for your rank for for the activity. Uh, so I can give them some examples if you want. Just in the last uh, two years, I think I had to ag- again to quantum jumps. I don't know if it's in English the same. Yeah, like some quantum leaps or jump. How how do it's called in English? In for example, um, in forgiveness. I just forgave the last seven years like I did in, in, in the last 20, you know, or for example, in, in patience, I didn't have, I, I didn't, I never thought I had a seed like this in me, you know, I, I always thought I don't have patience, I don't have it. Well, I have it, I can train it. And the way I trained it in the last, it's again, through the terror or in um, detachment, if I can say, I don't know the word, you know, That's when great. you d- detach, yeah. Uh, again, that helped me through the terror. Uh, studying human nature. If you want to study human nature in a practical way and like a no illusion, just pure practice, it's like doing the terror, like building the terror, not just not just consuming oils. It's doing the terror. Okay. So it's lesson after lesson. This activity or this work. Yeah, this or for me, Dotara, it's a work. It's not just this that you know, uh, casino. Uh, you win a rank and then you go sleep. No, for me, it's a continuous work. It doesn't matter what my rank is. I continue to do the work. Okay, and through this work, if you do it with honesty, yeah. with like you're you're honest, you're with yourself. For first of all, you can learn a lesson each day of your life, and that's the most pressure, precious. Yeah. <laughs> Think with the terror or through the terror. I hope you are, I, I answered to your question. <laughs> and to many more as well. <laughs> uh, um, you, uh, you talk about their, um, I, I can see you have like a sort of insatiable um, energy for learning and to, to keep improving yourself. And, and you've already reached a lot of things, but there's still that thirst to, to keep going. How, how do you keep that uh, flame alive and how do you keep your ego in check? Well, flame alive, again, if you answer this, your, I, let me be straight with you. I don't think this life on earth ends with this life. I, re- I really believe in the afterlife. So the flame in me, well, how I keep it, I, I am just thinking that after the afterlife, you know, the, the other life. Uh, and the, that help. I, like I, I, I see at what happens here, like a, at a game, you know, where I play to earn points, you know. I don't earn OV and points just in doTERRA in ranks. You know, here it's for rank, but I gain or I earn points for the afterlife, okay? So this helps me to, to, to keep going and also helps me with the, with the ego, you know? Because when you, when you um, um, earn, uh, earn like just money, okay? Or like all this, it's, it's done. You, you bought, for example, like the car, the house, the what, whatever. Uh, but for the afterlife, we don't know how much it costs. How to say? How how many points do you need? You know, for a new for a new level, you don't know. <laughs> so I just keep going, earning points for the afterlife. Uh, but with the ego, if I need to, um, I need to, I need to explain a little bit of my of some of my philosophy in life and the way I look at to at to this life. So the concept concept will. Be like this. Um, in this, uh, well, the last 50 years or 100 years, a lot of uh, our system um, or our educational system, let's say, did from us, if, uh, it's not a good day for English, as I say. Um, we became like, because we wanted to become very independent, you know, and we, a lot of people look at us like we are like, I am independent. I'm an individual. I can do whatever. And I am the one. And I, it's me. It's me, me, me. Always me, me, me. Years ago, centuries ago, even I remember my, the way my grandparents lived. It, it was a different way. It was more a community way of living and more a community way of looking to our life you you are not alone you know you can be alive and successful just in a 
it's not just your work, you know, it's a collective work to the village, to the community, to the, yeah, we are not um, individual, we are more social, like the, uh, what's the word in English, the the bees, how do they live, it's swarm, swarm, how it is, okay, it's a, it's a, it's a collective, it's not one, a bee can't live by herself, she just needs the, the call it the, the collective. community yeah yeah the collective and and also if we look because there are a lot of lessons there when we look there you will see that the in those those community there is a queen and there are bees and in our human world now we think the queen it's more important or it's more you know some some jobs are more important than others for example yeah we think that the doctor is more important than a a simple housekeeper. I don't look like this. I don't think the the job or the the work that a doctor does it's more important than a housekeeper. It in a in a if we look at it through different uh, eyeglasses, yeah, uh, to to this, it's it's this. It, when you think like this, the good in this world. So the good and the work that we do, we put into to this world, it's this, it's, it's, there are both important works and those that a housekeeper is doing and those that a doctor is doing or another one, okay? In the collect, the community of the bees, the different, the situation is different. The queen doesn't feel more important than a bee. And the bee doesn't uh, think that the queen, you know, that she is... Uh, less important for example they they all of them yeah or each of them know their importance it's just different roles just different roles not or just different levels let's say or just different spots okay so so yes this i think this helps me um in what's the word in english maturity is the word yeah yeah when you grow yeah. yourself to the level when you understand that if you have more talents or more um, achievements or more, I don't know, whatever, that if God gave you more of this, it didn't give you to, to, for you to work less and for you to be the queen in the ego way, you know? It just gave you all this for more work, <laughs> okay, <laughs> in this world, so... Did I answer it? Yes, and uh, I think uh, you touched there in uh, something that is quite relevant uh, nowadays, which is like, I think people also feel lonely because we have created such a, an individual mentality and we've lost so much the sense of community. Do you think, um, is this something that you try to instigate in, in your teams? And do you think like doTERRA can bring a bit of that community back? Yes, yes, of course, definitely, like definitely, including in my team. That's why I encourage the all this cross line works. Okay, between I have a lot of projects uh, inside my team where uh, projects that I can call them a collective work, where like once a year or twice a year, like the whole team we do a collective work for not just for our team but the, for the whole Romania, you know, or for the Terra. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, I'm trying to, to, of course, it's not very easy in the beginning because this is like a programming, you know, it's you, you, you lived like this the last 10 years, 15 years, 20 years or the, your whole life, even your parents educated you in this way. It's not very easy to, to switch, you know, it's not very easy, but it's not impossible. And I see, I see when, when someone, when, well, when people, um, cross this line, Okay, I see them awake, you know, and I, I start see them that they are happy. I just show you, show them. You see, you're happy now. You are, you're definitely happier than you were like before that. And, and yeah. You seem to be as well someone who, who invests a lot like in your team, but also in the development of, of the full market and of the, the country. Do you, um, do you have any any tips for other leaders, like quite high ranking leaders and like the importance of uh, um, looking at things more broadly and uh, and investing in things that sometimes are not just directly yours? 
Well, I have a full training on this. <laughs> uh, first of all, uh, what I just said, like before that, I think it's important to think about this because if you, until you do that shift, anything else that I say, it's it will not be understand. It's, it will just not be understand. Like to 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 answer first of all to this question, yeah, to 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 switch uh, from this attitude of me, 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 just me, 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 and just my team, and just okay, to switch to this collective. And not just in words, because in words and poetry, there are a lot of people that say, yes, we, doTERRA, family, and so on, until real, until real work, you know, real, real, real practice. Uh, so I think it's an exercise that any, any leader needs to be, to, to do with himself, with, with, like, with honesty. And um, if um, I need to add... I don't know, just look at the compensation plan. And I think the compensation plan in doTERRA, the last, we, through our compensation plan, or let me formulate it in English better. I think our compensation plan, half of them, half of it, shows us or tell us that we need to do a work broader than just our team. Okay, all those performance tools, sharers, uh, all those founder bonuses and so on. There are, there are a lot of bonuses that are paid not from directly from our work, from our team, let's say, okay? Not from our team, but, uh, but from the wealth of the whole company, okay? So that, that means the work of the, all the teams. So in this way, maybe it helps to understand why we need to do to... For example, in, in my case, yeah, if, if half of my bonuses, my commission in a month came from, not from the volume of my team, okay, but a percentage of the uh, sales in the whole company. So it helps me, okay, what, what can I do to contribute in this way, to contribute into the wealth of the whole company and to other teams? That's a short version because I can speak one hour on this. What can they do? They can do a lot of things. <laughs> Thank you. We we'll leave we we'll leave that for for people who who want to attend your trainings. Then <laughs> the long the long version. Well, well, whatever they can ask me in private, I can uh, explain. Like give give them some examples. I can, I can just can give you some example. We have in Romania. Um, well, I have a, a group on Facebook that's open for anyone. For example, a Romanian speaker. So there are a lot of Romanian speakers, not just in Romania, but in USA, Australia, China, or whatever. And they are all learning uh, in, from, through this group. It's a big group. It's 700,000, almost 1 million. Okay. If they, we know there are two, uh, around 20 million Romanians, that means how much? Well, 10% that will be 2 million. So it's 5% of the Romanians. Okay. Pure men. Um, learn uh, through the, and I know, yeah, that there are a lot of Romanians that are not, not in my team. But we help them, like, all, okay? Um, then we have, for example, the last two years, these two big projects that I told you about, or I mentioned it. Uh, it's uh, basically the, uh, me with the many leaders from my team, around 100, 150 leaders. And this starting this year, not, not just my team. team. There are some uh, leaders that from the other teams that, that joined and want to contribute into that. And what basically what we do, it's one day, with the more than 100 events last in the same day, in the same hours, uh, 100 uh, different cities, and we do trainings, yeah, or presentations, or classes, or different things. That help. And at, at, at these trainings, of course, come a lot of people from other teams. They are all open. You seem to be someone who's quite um, uh, happy to try new things and just uh, think a bit differently and <laughs> and just go for it. Um, is failure a necessary part of success, and how do you embrace this trialing and error as part of your of your growth? Um, <laughs> well, again, you answered already. You know, you started you started with the answer. Yeah, failure is part of the success. Uh, I can say that's one of the philosophy or the concepts, the ma major concepts that apply in my life. Uh, I would say even more, I don't really 
believe in failure. Like I don't say it's a fail. A failure, it's a failure. It de- a failure, it's a failure or not. It depends just on your perspective and the, your attitude and how you look at it. Uh, one of my mentor uh, say like this: You never lose. You in any situation, you win or you learn a lesson. Okay, so again, you win. You win. So you win or you win. You never lose. Yeah. And we, when you have this perspective, it's very, it's very, yeah, it's very easy. And I can go even deeper than that uh, with the true power of will. Let's say, yeah, that's how I say, uh, how I see it. I think the true will, it's God's will. Okay. So, or creation, or lives. How, how do you want to say? It, okay, our mind it's very limited. We, we, of course, we we want to be smart. Of course, we want to know everything. Of course, we want to be the best of the best of the best. But the truth is, we will never be like know everything and like do. You know, we we are not. That's what I, I thought for the the first ten years of me in this knowledge. I thought, I really thought that I will come to a point where I will know everything. I will know. And I came to the point where I understood the the uh, Greek philosophy, you know, Socrates, you know, Socrates, you know, he said, what I know is not, I know nothing. You know, what I know is I know nothing. Something like this. I don't know how it's in English. So I came to the point where I say, okay, I, what I know is I know nothing. So if I know I know nothing and my mind is like this comparing to what it is in this world, so that means that my brain, it's when, even when I plan something, I can plan just with what I have in my mind, like, like this. But there are, but like, I don't know what it should be. I don't know. It's just I admit I don't know. And I'm willing to, to try and to see it works or not. To try and see it's a good way or not a good way. It works for me or not works for me. I will win something. It sometimes is, yeah, I did it with success, but sometimes... Most of the times it's, "Mm, well, I see what I did. I look and analyze and improve and say, okay, now I know how I can do it better. And I try again. I say, ah, okay, now I know how I can do better. And I apply this like in any aspect of my, not just in the Torah, any aspect in my life, any. I am not pretending to be the perfect parent. I'm not pretending to be the perfect wife. I'm not pretending to be perfect in anything. I'm just admitting that I am who I am and I'm um, I'm willing to try and be better, to try and improve, you know, to try. And that's how I I came to this point and results in my life. If we speak uh, a con- concrete or specific example, uh, w- uh, for example, with presentation, yeah, a lot of people have the fear of public speaking. I know, oh, 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 public speaking. Oh, oh, no, me in public. No, I'm a no, Elena, I, I will never do what I, what you, I, will, I will never. Know. Well, I don't know how many people know that at my first presentation, that's 20 years ago, something like this, I took the microphone. Uh, my brain was like disconnected my mouth uh, dry and I couldn't speak like I, 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 in my, where are my thoughts where are my thoughts they're like my 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 brain left my head you know for one minute I couldn't say like almost anything like hello and that's it and that we can you you can look at an error okay well, in the beginning, I say, oh, I'll never do. I cry, started to cry. I'll never do it again. No. Again. And I started to have, uh, you know, uh, nightmares with, with that situation. It was so embarrassing. Okay. That I had, I, I started to, and I accepted to do it once again, just to make my nightmare less painful. I like my goal was not to do a good presentation, just to sp- speak a little bit more, not two minutes, at least two, 10 minutes. You know, so it was the second time, third time, fourth, so so on and so on. I can say that I really become became a, a good presenter, you know, with in public after one around one hundred uh, public public speakings or or presentation. One hundred, not two, not three, not ten, not twenty. Around one hundred. And until that 100, it allows a lot of errors, you know, a lot of, oh, 
I shouldn't do like this. Oh, I didn't. I, I could say that. I didn't need to say that. I could say like this. I couldn't, you know, and better and improvement and improvement and improvement until that seed of the presenter in me started to grow. And I started to look at myself, you know, and say, oh, OK, that's who I am. That's how I am. That's the way I do the presentations. That's the way I can inspire people. Okay. And I can give a lot of examples. <laughs> they apply in any, in any area of our, our life. I'll get to that in a second. But is are there still now moments where you do something and uh, you fail and you go back to that moment where like, oh, I don't want to do it again. Or, or now it's different. Well, uh, <laughs> When there is something I don't want to do it again, for me, it's usually uh, I, I start asking myself, like, I don't want to do it because that's not me. There are situations when you just find out about you that that's not you. Like, that's not you. That's not, again, if we go to uh, the collective work, that means not that we are all the same. We are all different with different roles in this collective work and anyone needs to fulfill or to um, execute or how to say their own role what I mean by that there are people in this world that need they are this role their role in this world is to do more I don't know healing hands projects do you know what I mean like they, they that's their role there are people that are inspiring but even inspiring things or people or speeches can be in different ways. Some are more, uh, you know, like good parents, like you told everything will be okay. like, like this, like with like um, good mo grandmas, you know, but there are mentors or speakers that are with like, you know, more Tony Robbins, for example, there are, it's different. It's just a different role. Can you imagine Tony Robbins with like a butterfly, you know? Well, it's just not him. So, yes, when there are things that I just understand about myself, I see that's not me. I will not do them anymore, not because I'm embarrassed or something. It's just not me. Okay. It's that I'm, I'm not c c feeling, not, not feeling comfortable, but not feeling me. You, you see the difference? Okay. If it's not feeling me, I will not do it that any, uh, anymore. But it's, if it's about, me not feeling comfortable i understand it's me but it's not comfortable or it's it's with pain of growth you know it's with pain then i will do it again i will do it until i will understand it you know and then and for someone who who just learned about the terror um how can they understand if it's for them uh, again, uh, if to continue with my theme, uh, with my subject, you know, with different roles, I really see and I really think that in doTERRA, it's, it's, it's doTERRA, it's um, multidimensional. Can I say so? It's multidimensional. At the first and superficial point of view, let's say, yeah, it's network marketing. Yeah, like you do like this or this. But if you look deeper, it's not you can accomplish yourself or fulfill yourself or find your role, you know, in, in this collective to find your role in your way. I think it can be for anyone. doTERRA can be, if uh, you ask, yeah, it's for you or it's not for you. I think it, it can be for anyone. You just need to find your spot in this, what you'll do more, you know, more, for example, me and my husband, we are very different. Even in the way we work with people, we are really, I will do more public thing, you know, in the, but he's more the one-to-one, -one, you know, sit with someone for three hours and speak. I don't have this patience, you know, to see. When at some rank, when it's needed, okay, I can do some mentorship like this, but in a, not a new, in a usual way, okay? And now I can, because I have a big team, also a big team of, of leaders, it's so inspiring for me, let's say. It's so even inspiring for me to see how different they are 
all of them, you know, those almost 30 diamonds or 100 and something golds, silvers, and they are so different. But everyone uh, does this work in their own way. And that's so fulfilling and inspiring given for me to see that. So I think the way if you it's for you or not for you, I can say it's definitely for you. You just need to find in which way for you. How do you go about that, uh, that self-exploration, finding your purpose? It's just to, through trying. It's not, I know we live in an era when, when anyone uh, uh, is looking for a short answer from an expert, you know, a guru, a mentor, a someone uh, in coffee, uh, in cards, uh, in uh, astrology. If, if someone can tell me exactly, please tell me exactly what's my purpose, what's my, with uh, uh, word by word, what's my purpose, what's my p- p- spot, where is my... Uh, In the real life, it doesn't work like this. The only way anyone, each of us, can find his role, his spot, you know, his way of himself, just through trying. You start, you try, and you look. It's me, nothing. And this can be like 100 tryings, you know. I tried like, I tried this, I tried this, I tried this. And look at me. And look at yourself. How do you feel? How do you... Yeah, basically, how do you feel? What, what's, where are your thoughts? How do you feel? Where are... You again, look, try. Plan, do review, you know? You plan. Okay, I can do... I listen to my sponsor. He said to do this. But again, you, if, if your feelings, it's about uh, me uncomfortable, uh, it doesn't mean it's not your spot. It's just you are unco- uncomfortable. You just need to try to do it again, Yeah. But if you your feeling feelings, it's more oh, it's not my way. I just keep trying and f- until I find my way. This process that you have gone through yourself is it something you have done like quite consciously and systematically, like the finding the answers, the understanding yourself. Is that a, a daily practice? Yeah, I can say so. Yeah, yeah, I can. I, I, it's still, it's a process. It's an ongoing process. Okay, because uh, the, the 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 short uh, technique, let's say, okay, you you have theory, like some a book or a mentor or someone that explains some things. I'm thinking about them, and then I go to um, analyze them and put into practice and see how this works. Okay, how this works. And um, how to explain it, okay. Sometimes, for example, today I listen, today I feel I understood, but you really see if you understood or not a concept when something in real life happens, like when life happens, not in theory. Short examples, simple. We all read about forgiveness, how important it is, la, 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 la. We go to convention. There are a lot of, you know, speeches about forgiveness and and all the social media. It's full of quotes about forgiveness and blah, 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 blah. In real life, and we all think about ourselves. We all think about ourselves that we know this, that lesson. Like, we know that lesson until real Life situation happens when you, and in that moment, you just need to have the courage, if I can say so, or the honesty to look at your self and your reactions and your responses in an honest way. Like in this situation, did I react and did I respond according to my, to what I thought I know I, and I understood Because practice shows me that not really. And then I go and study more, you know. And, and in this way, when it's a, because it's a, it's a continuous process also for me. And for me, it's, um, there are periods, uh, usually, yeah, I can say it's, it's every day. It's about 15, 20 minutes. It's every day. But there are periods in my life when this, when I go into this process of gaining more knowledge uh, with more or with a, more consciousness work, okay? There are some periods uh, when I go 
like deeper or more. And usually these periods when uh, are the, when something bad happens, you know, there because I am I'm human. I'm still human. There I still got some I get some I don't know diseases, the sickness or have or depressions or you know. And uh, yeah, I take time and go deeper. You know, not just fifteen minutes a day. I can go to to two hours a day, three hours a day of just learning, and other three hours just in writing, thinking, writing, thinking, preparing, look, analyzing the last two or three months, one year, and so on. This is the shortest version of this process. Thank you for sharing that. And um, just uh, yeah, just if if it's someone who's who's getting started, um, what should their 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 mindset be um, when when they come into the Terra? Is it about openness? <laughs> uh, should be for what? <laughs> their mind should be for what? <laughs> like nothing should you know in this world like nothing should everything it's it's uh, it's how you want to it to be like everything it's uh, you can do anything okay the the question is is it help it does it help you or not because it doesn't help you it needs to change something so mindset if you if you i don't know if you want to just earn some money it's one mindset if you want more of it's different mindset so it's about mindset it can be a full training you know just about about mindset so i don't know i don't really know how to short a very a short version of this answer <laughs> to this question no worries and it, it, it does really just depend on on what you want to get out of it doesn't it yeah of course yeah there are a lot of people that want to do the terra they don't think about i don't know higher things they just want to rank you know I don't know in different in other countries, but in Romania, some people even say so. Well, I want this silver, you know, the rank silver, the rank silver, and I know why they want the rank silver, not be because it's called silver. They just look at the, you know, like with this money, I can uh, leave my job, you know, and stay at home and watch TV, for example, or just or okay, not, let's not be bad, you know, stay at home with my kids, for example. That's the freedom for me. And that's what they want. So for this, I don't really need. You need a. In this, usually in this situation, I, I'm, I'm trying to how you said to instigate them, to expand and change their mindset, and to see that life can or there is life beyond silver. You know, <laughs> there is life at gold there is a nicer life at diamond and so on <laughs> what is it yet to be done uh doing the same thing <laughs> can just just continue on the same path you know on on the same process when it's again with my purpose this is never it's a never ending another thing maybe uh what well, you ask now and i think no um, I want to a new generation. Let's say, uh, as I feel now, I, I I had a generation, you know, like parents with when they had three kids in five years, and that's one generation. And then it's okay. I think I think I have more energy, so I can do another round of five years and three kids <laughs> and raise them, something like this. And uh, what do you wish for for that new generation? Well, the same that I wanted for the first generation. And in my mind, it's like this. I, I want to, first of all, awake people. Uh, and what I mean by that, yeah, awake. The reality and the truth is that a lot of people are very, they are alive, not but not very alive. You know, can I say so? They're like alive, well, alive. Yeah. Alive, but not alive, living. But they don't but not leaving, yeah. They're like just robots, robots with a life like the robots. They forgot about their dreams. They forgot, but they don't even think. They don't have the time. Uh, yeah, just at least to think at this, the most important questions in this life of who you are, who, are, who am I, where I came from, and so on. And so this will be one that's like awake them, at least awake them, you know, 
instigate them, okay? Then go and and then step by step to empower them, starting with the health, then concept by concept, you know, drop by drop, drop by drop, okay? Uh, until they start to 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 uh, to do in my mind uh, they need at least diamond uh, rank uh, yeah so the the I have um how to say um, a goal I I would wouldn't say purpose but a, a goal you know uh, in in some results it uh, for me it's one hundred diamonds I won't want to raise one hundred diamonds so I did thirty until now. So next generation, it will be another 30 or maybe directly the next 70 because I have more experience now. And uh, so why diamond? Why the rank of diamond? Because I think at the rank of diamond, we can have that or for, for as I see it. Uh, yeah, it's a um, good start for real freedom, let's say. Yeah, a financial situation where we can accomplish all the rest, all the things, all the rest I I, I told you, uh, yeah, today to start. Because a lot of people, when I when I awake them and I say, okay, read books, you know, read that book, read that book, look at it. Well, and I understand I would like to, but but I don't have the time. You know, I don't have the time. I don't, and I start, why do you have the, why? Why, where is your time? And I, and they, people start to explain, yeah, I work 10 hours, 20, my job is 12 hours, 15 hours sometimes. Yeah, there are people. Uh, so yes, the first it will be awake, then the freedom, we need the freedom, the time freedom. That's why network marketing, that's why the diamonds rank. And then with awaken and with the freedom, we go, we start the, with the real process of evolving. And those people you just mentioned, which I think it's something that, um, that is very true is like, um, a lot of people are working full-time jobs they have kids their minds are <laughs> are very occupied uh how how do you do you take that first step to like make start making the switch well the switch starts uh, with the something inside you know when, when some thoughts starts to change and for some thoughts start to change sometimes it's it's enough some good questions. You know, just some good questions. And and that sometimes they're they're um sound like stupid question or but they are normal question. Like like what's the most important in this life? Like, okay, you live like this for turn twelve to I don't know. So if or for example, if your life ends tomorrow. It's possible. We we never know when it's our last day on this earth. Yeah, of course, we hope we will live 80 years, 100, whatever, yeah. But in real life, you never know. So sometimes it's just about good question. Where if your life ends tomorrow, did you, like, how do you feel? Did you accomplish anything? Did you leave? Did you feel that you lived? At least? Like, how do you feel about your last five years, 10 years? What you, what you dreamed about, I don't know, when you were 15 or 20. Is your life today at least near to that or no? Why do you think that happened? And so on. I can, half of my, I, I think half of my work in, um, in, for example, events, speeches, trainings, podcasts now, it will be on this, you know, on, on this starting point, on this good questions and then of course i instigate them because i it's impossible for me to 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 do all the work what i be what i'm trying to be to uh, is to be a good um intermediar how to say an intermediate like, yeah for me it's the middle yeah, the middle woman it's important to, <laughs> i yeah yeah i put the good questions and then well make your time at least to to read this book and it's one book that you can if you to find, I don't know, if you can, need to find 10, 15 minutes a day. 10, 15 minutes a day. It's a book that can change your life, really. Starts with, of course, with, with, with thoughts. And I saw real transformations after reading a book, after listening, you know, when people start to answer those questions, you know. 
Like, okay, yes, if my life ends to tomorrow. In my events, when I, you know, do you know when I, when I, uh, or how I analyze an event after, after one of, of my event, if ends, how do I, um, um, how to say, when I say it's a good one, oh, I did it, it's a good one. When at, at least half of the room is crying. If they are crying, and not in a bad way, yeah? For me, those tears, I really think when we, we are start crying, that's our soul. It's not just our mind, it's our soul. So after an event when half of the room is crying, now, oh, I did it. Nah. Uh, and I'm happy, you know. Oh, you're awakening. Yeah, okay, good morning. <laughs> Let's start living. I know. Where do I start? Where do I start? Start to read the book 15 minutes a day. And then we'll see step by step, step by step, step by step. I like that this is how, how people are going to, uh, Elena's event, bring some tissues, <laughs> make sure that uh, that you're prepared. Uh, I think we'll we'll ask you to do uh, maybe a list of, of books and we can put it in the description of, of podcast, of this podcast. So, so people can uh, uh, can look into that. Um, Elena, thank you so much. We are almost uh, almost at one hour. I have one final question for you. Can us, can you tell us who you are in one word? Who am I in one word? One word. Um, in English, how it's uh, infinite consciousness. That's in this life, it's called Elena Chimpoyesh. And play this game called the, the Terra. <laughs> and, uh, and why that answer? Why that answer? Because that's, that's, um, um, I want to instigate, let's say, people to think through this way of thinking let's say or through through these glasses you know through these lenses uh our self identification uh it's one of the root that that helps us live our life in a way or in a different way so i'm not elena champoyesh double blue diamond it's it's the game in this world you know now in this time now Uh, I'm not Elena Chimpoyesho with the, those money. I'm not Elena Chimpoyesho with all this, you know, the, all this, all this that I have now, you know, it's what I have. It's not who I am. Okay. It's not, I'm not even my body. It's I have this body for this life. Who I am. It's a different question. It's a different answer. Thank you so much, Elena. It was a pleasure and a lot of food for thoughts. Thanks for igniting us. I hope. <laughs> and uh, instigating us. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just thank you for all you do and, and continue doing it because you're excellent at it. Thank you so much. Thank you also, Ines. Thank you for inviting me. for listening to today's episode and I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to leave us a review and let us know your thoughts in the next episode I'll be speaking to US presidential diamond Matt Hall thank you so much and see you next time <laughs>